Hey everyone, it's August 19th, 2016. We're here in the wine box garden, checking things out, seeing what's going on. Uh, have some things that are growing well, some things that aren't, and some new plantings. So we'll take a look. Um, over here, we're starting to get some eggplant. Uh, looks like something is clawing at this one. <laughs> so, uh, but some of these are growing in here. We're still getting some flowers and they're growing. I feel like the eggplant and tomatoes have been a little late this year, but I think they're doing okay. They're starting to really come into their own. I've been taking a lot of tomatoes in as soon as they start to ripen. Um, so as soon as I see that, I bring them inside and start to ripen them in a paper bag um, so that they don't get eaten by the squirrels. And this one, this is a New Jersey Devil tomato plant, which I think is on its way out. I don't see any new growth. In fact, I actually just took this one off because it looked like it was starting to ripen. And then I noticed this little blossom end rot. Blossom end rot, it occurs, you know, when the plants aren't really getting enough calcium. So that could be either there's not enough calcium for them to uptake or there aren't other nutrients that aid the plants in taking in calcium. So I, I saw this earlier on a Cayman tomato, which is in the same pot as the New Jersey Devil tomatoes. So my efforts uh, did not help this tomato. So this is probably going into the compost. Probably won't taste too good. So that's unfortunate, but the New Jersey Devil tomatoes were actually really juicy. So they were, they were good tomatoes to grow. I'll try those again next year. The herbs are doing well. Some of them, you know, I've already let go to seed a little bit. This is savory. Um, but others are, you know, looking really, really strong, but I have to start to freeze them, dry them, really use them um, as we wind down the season. So they're looking really good. Some rosemary, sage, a few different types of thyme and mint and things like that. Um, so we'll, we'll get that going. Celery root, really looking good. You can see here, the, the roots are really looking good. So I'm happy with these. Indigo rose, let me wind around here a little bit. The indigo rose are the purple ones here, you see, which are really interesting. I still have not eaten these yet. Um, but taking a look over here, at how they started to ripen. I, I brought them inside into my paper bags. So you see they're purple on top, and it's been like that for a while. And this is how they're starting to ripen at the bottom. So this is just really interesting. I'm, I'm kind of fascinated, but you'll see that I'm putting these into bags. Same thing with the other tomatoes, so that they can be ripen indoors. I'm getting lots of different, you can see these, lots of different cherry tomatoes. I've got sun golds, black cherry, um, some super sweet, tomatoes so those are coming in so that's is what I've been doing really when you see this just taking them in and letting them ripen in a paper bag it works out really well I also had some sweet banana peppers not too many um, don't, doesn't look like those are continuing to grow but we'll take a look over here now one thing my peppers have been turning red I brought some of those in already so these are lady bell peppers very tasty um, to do that now over here You'll see I used to have some lettuce here, but that's bolted. So I removed that and I actually started to plant something new. So we'll take a look at that. This is a little unusual, but I planted zucchini at the beginning of August. I put this hoop around it because the squirrels tended to dig up new plantings and they're just relentless. So I put, I have a, it's one of those hoops that can go a long way. So if you've got a, a long bed, this can go over it to protect it, which is really nice. So if we go in here and take a look, just take that out for the moment, you'll see that we've got some zucchini. What I did with this, I didn't feel like spending money on another planter. I just bought one of those storage containers for a few bucks and wrapped it in burlap. I drilled some drainage holes in there. So I'll probably take these hoops off at some point, but you can see they can still get their um, water and sun and grow really well. And I'll probably thin this down to just one plant in each pot. Um, so I'm trying that out. My other zucchini, I got one really nice zucchini, but the others, um, it, the, the plant died because I had squash vine borders. They lay their, their eggs inside of the actual vine and then they hatch and it's gone. So we still get some beans. These are Blue Lake 47. Those are coming throughout the season. So I really 
really like these. Got some nice cucumbers. I'm going to try some pickling. Getting some nice cucumbers as well. This is the first time my carrots actually flowered. The, uh, these are really pretty too. The um, Queen's Anne, Queen Anne's Lace, I think it's called. Um, but it's, it's, these are my rainbow carrots in here. So this is really interesting. Um, so these are actually ready, but I'm going to leave them in the ground for a little bit longer. That's no harm there. Beets. So I'm getting some nice beets in here. The greens are really nice too, but let me see if I can get down here. You can see that? Some really good beets. So these got, got pretty nice. Um, <laughs> well, I haven't tasted them yet, but that's good. So you can see some eggplant growing in there as well. So that's coming along a little slow. My ancho pepper plants are just starting to get bigger. I see some really tiny little formations of flowers. So I'm hoping that'll be good. This is the super sweet. You can see these got really tall. <laughs> I actually have them up on the deck. This happened last year too. So I'm not surprised. Now this is where the zucchini was. You remember this was really overgrown. So I planted some beans. I've got Blue Lake 47 and Royal Burgundy. The Royal Burgundy, um, they are the purple ones. And I only got a few during the season. I'd really like to try to do this here, giving them a little bit more room than I did initially in the other bed. Um, they really, just, I don't think they had enough sunlight, enough room to grow. So we're trying that here. So I've got the row of burgundy on this side and the blue lake 47 on the other, which is a little bit thinner, but um, I planted them around this trellis so that hopefully they'll vine up there. Some more cucumbers. Now this is the area that I thinned out because I was getting really deformed cucumbers. They weren't pollinating properly because they were just overcrowded. So I thinned them out and they're doing much better. So I'm getting normal cucumbers now. As you can see, that's a big difference um, between what I was getting before. So we're still getting some nice cucumber growth in there. Getting a little powder, mil powdery mildew on the, the leaves. Doing a, you know, you can do a copper spray on those kinds of things as well to kind of keep that at bay. Um, but it's that usually happens with things like zucchini. Like these are getting them as well. You can see a yellow squash in there. Yellow squash are doing okay. Not terrific but okay I think it, again I don't think I gave them enough room to grow so that was a lesson to learn getting a lot of sun gold tomatoes that's what's up here in the back uh, as well potatoes <clears throat> looking good huh so I actually took two pots down because they were completely dead and like there weren't any green still growing in them at all and those are the Yukon golds so I got about three pounds of tomatoes out of the, the two sacks and I'm storing those. I'm sort of, I have those in burlap right now to store them. So things are moving along um, in the garden. So we got some new plantings. We'll check back and see how the zucchini is. The other thing I tried yet again, I'm going to loop around here, is that seed tape for some lettuce. Lettuce is something you can grow in the later in the season because it, it, in the time it grows in the fall, um, it'll be good. <laughs> this is where I put the seed tape. I think I'm getting either weeds or nothing at all. I'm not sure about the seed tape. It's just not working for me very well. I'd, I'd be curious if anybody out there uses it, but uh, it's not it's not doing too well for me. Seed tape is just this sort of tape-like paper that you plant in, and it's already spaced out. The seeds are already spaced out there, so it should grow evenly and nicely, but eh, it's not working. So anyway, that's what's going on. Um, I still have some mint here, keeping the raccoons at bay. But it's, you can see, it'll take sort of an aerial view here. Things are growing. So we've got a lot of stuff going on there. We got a lot of good sunlight back here um, from here. Got some strawberries too, which are good. And then coming up around here, these are the beds. So there's the one and the other right there as well. So this right now doesn't have a lot of sunlight, but it does get a lot of sunlight in the afternoon. So things are growing. Hope your gardening is going well and uh, we'll talk to you soon.